But you guys, he's not the only man of the hour to do an unfortunate act, okay? Mm -hmm. So a woman that we've had on the table who I absolutely stand for 100%, Adele Nyong'o, called out a media personality, a uh, media personality from comedian Jalango because he said that he was going to be on Ooh. her show yeah. and she immediately cut him down at the knees, y'all. So hopefully we'll have the receipt posted on screen because you guys should also see it as well. But essentially it's from Twitter and what was happening is Jalango said, few moons ago with Lesis, with Lesista, Adele Nyango, she will be hosting me soon on her new project, Hashtag Perspective. Um, Adele says, first, it's perspective. Secondly, I haven't invited you, so please don't allude, allude to that. I still believe you have a very toxic view on femicide that I absolutely will not amplify on my platform. So first of all, Hallelujah. Yes, first of all, I absolutely love that she was mm -hmm. not polite to him. She was not being like, you're my friend, but kind of thing. Mm -hmm. She was like, First of all, we're clearly not close because he got the name wrong. Mm -hmm. Number two, you're clearly not coming on the show because he is vocal about his views. He's not, he doesn't hide what he says. He's incredibly loud about these things. What I love is I'm expecting girls to like use this as a line, just being like, listen, you need to back off or I'm going to curve you so hard, they'll be calling me Adele Onyango. Yeah. Like, I'm waiting for girls to be like, absolutely not, because she stands for that. And it's nice to see that. Even someone who's also in the media, she still has integrity in her word. And she's like, I'm not going to give you a platform, no matter how nice we are, you know, in person. Yeah. I'm not going to amplify what you're saying. And mm -hmm. we never see yes. that. And never. that is why I absolutely love this. And I don't love this because Jalango is being attacked. I don't know Jalango. I don't have an issue with Jalango. Mm -hmm. But I believe that if somebody stands directly against what you believe in, mm -hmm. you don't need to do the pleasantries. You don't need to pretend that it's all good but I don't have I don't necessarily have a problem with someone coming on the platform to hear out their views mm -hmm. as long as you're not being um like intentionally offensive for example his views and my views can coexist I want to hear what why you think what you think but um from what I gather Jalango is just kind of out there being belligerent and rude yeah. about it so then what for somebody who stands for um um, feminism as much as Adele Nyango does, that isn't going to run. And I like that she stood for um, herself, yeah, 100%. No, no, definitely. I definitely agree. And for someone who has actually had an interview, an interview with Jalango mm -hmm. on radio, it's just like... Uh, I, I agree with Adele a hundred percent. Like when men come at you that type of way, like especially like putting women down, mm -hmm. doing any of that, it's disrespectful, mm -hmm. yeah. number one. And don't try to hit me up later. Like, no, don't. No. So and there's, there's, so, many, there's mm -hmm. so many people who, there's a lot of men who put out there consciously mm -hmm. and without any kind of shame mm -hmm. that women are this, women are like negative things yes. and they feel no way and they think that that's okay. And when you stand up you are a right-wing feminist who hates men yeah. i don't hate men i just don't want to hear you insulting women yeah openly and that's, it's not okay absolutely and that's why i like because you're right there is a time and a place for two opinions to like coexist and yeah. interact and converse mm -hmm. But for what she stands for and what she's trying to achieve with perspective, mm -hmm. that's not the place. And, and also, he's rude about it. He doesn't yeah. have like a, 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 like a justified view for why he has poor views on women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just rude. The other thing, mm -hmm. and you're right, and you know the thing is, is unfortunately a lot of men, like not just in Kenya but sort of worldwide, see that like that's the easiest way to build a brand. There's actually a super famous comedian who got called out because he had some sort of like um, sexual sort of problems with women and so he actually changed his whole brand to now become this like right-wing anti-women like Republican thing because those are the only people that will now accept him yeah so the thing is is like you're the thing is, is he's like catering to the lowest denomination mm -hmm. and I don't think he's really open for a real serious conversation mm -hmm. because that's not who he is and that is who she is yeah. at the end of the day like I don't know how to tell you why you or how you should care about other people. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that that's something that she's going to take on. Not yeah. And also, I'm here for any woman who's out there blasting women, I mean, blasting men, mm -hmm. um, and 
talking negatively about men consistently, especially as a group. If yeah. you're talking about your personal experience with a man, that's your personal experience. Yes. But grouping them, like men do this, yes. men are dogs, men are this, that's not acceptable either. Mm -hmm. It's not okay because you're putting out there a narrative. What, what, how many people have you met in this world for you to be able to speak mm -hmm. on all men? Right. No, you, nobody can. And I like that she stood up to it and I hope more people can do this. Now, I know there are some fans there who maybe think she took it too far or maybe like mm -hmm. it's not that serious so hashtag ibru let's talk and the sms line is 40920 what do you think was this like the right kind of comeback mm -hmm. um to kind of clap back on was it was like classy. you know chill out i Let think she know. answered it i mean classy. of course so of course dana would think she was classy yes. but speaking of clap backs mm -hmm. You know, like, your average Joe Schmo, I mean, like, the average person, like, re-wears their clothes yeah. daily. I mean, put your hands up if you do. Mm -hmm. I do. I have, like, ten pairs of black leggings that, you know, some have holes that, in that them. Circulate. Some have holes Stop. in them. I had to, I had to let them go. So, you know, I re-wear, I re-wear whatever. But, you know, there's those celebrities. Mm -hmm celebrities who wear one clothing and then they put it aside. I mean, if I had that much money, boss, bring it. Yeah. But apparently Vera, um, Vera, boss queen, mm -hmm. Vera, who has said, mm -hmm. who has said multiple times she does not re-wear re clothes. Mm -hmm. She was caught wearing a Versace shirt mm -hmm. and we actually have something on the screen mm -hmm. what does it say so a fan mm -hmm. said um no she she put she it said. out saying you know it, it was a post she put it mm -hmm. out and then the fan said i thought how rude i thought you don't wear clothes again mm -hmm. to which she said i paid 120,000 kenyan shillings for this versace shirt i'll wear it until jesus returns okay now